naive but overconfident inside me. The trick is not to let it come out. But inside me, I'm the hero of all my movies. When I dream, my team is losing 2-0, I'm going to score a hat trick. It doesn't happen every time. But that's my dream. In my dream, I'm always the hero. Now the trick is not to say it in open so that people don't call you arrogant. I keep it inside me. But every time that I play, I think I'm going to win. I think I'm going to score. I think I'm going to be the MVP. I think I'm going to change the tide. I know it sounds very selfish and self-oriented, but that's the way it is. That doesn't guarantee you success. But my, I tell you, it gives you such a good feeling. Because that's the way I think. Generally, if we had a bad match, we don't talk about football. But in two, three days, I'll tell him, can I say you something? Like, I ask his permission because I also feel bad because already it's now, you know, he get to listen from everyone. So I like, you know, I didn't like this certain thing that you did or this penalty that you missed and you could have done better or something, you know, like that. And I don't know if that helps him to be grounded. I don't know. It's, 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 it's one of those things. Of course, you know, and uh, it always helps. Because if you are criticized or pointed out by someone who completely has your back, it's always helpful. The first game was in Balochistan. I remember it because it was the first time I donned the national team jersey. जितने आदमी ग्राउंड के अंदर थे उतने ही बाहर थे और जितने फ्लैग पाकिस्तान के थे उतने ही फ्लैग इंडिया के थे Uh, before the whole ceremony, they had this small opening ceremony kind of thing where everybody was wearing pagdi, you know, the Indian, and we were just we were trying to find where my brother is, you know, like in that television we were sitting, and there's this one glimpse, and I remember him scoring. I scored uh, on my debut, which was which was magical. That's one day probably that I'll never ever forget in my life. That was just playing for the country, Misha, is something that you can't explain. That was the first time that I felt that, you know, he's just not a gully boy playing it. You know, he's this international football player who's made it. There were many players who were talented, who did not pay attention to hard work and hunger, are nowhere now. No matter how talented you are, if you are not ready to work hard and show that hunger and want it bad, you wouldn't achieve things. As in football, they say you might win a match, but you would not win a tournament. So, because I got the hardship very early, I understood this. Let me put it like this: the ones who do it at the utmost uh, productive manner, they are the ones eventually who are going to win the race. It's it, there is no two ways about it. Obviously, he played for India before that under a few different coaches. But playing under Bob, Bob Houghton was something different for me and I think for him as well. Well, there is Bob Houghton. What do you feel he's brought to football in India in the short time he's been here? Uh, Sonil Chetri will latch onto this ball. That was Andy who beat the keeper. He's got number four. And that was a really opportune goal from Sonil Chetri. Bob, Bob used to love him. Like I said, no, any coach will love uh, a type of the player that Sunil is. And, and no complaint. You will never hear any complaint about Bob Houghton from any of the team. So even though he tried to treat everyone the same, we knew that he has got few important players in the team, but still he never tried to show that. 
But deep inside, you know that at the same time, Sunil knows that Agar, if you don't perform, someone will come in, he will be out. But but yes, uh, Sunil, I, I, I know that, you know, Bob used to like him a lot. I was a coach's favorite. Everyone knew it. I knew it. I was, used to call me Bob's son. Bob was our head coach. And I didn't care. I first saw Sunil at a training camp in Goa, I think, in 2006. Was it possible to um, to say then that he was going to play 120 games and score 85 goals at the international level? Absolutely not. I mean, I think coaches are much more interested in the short term. What's the next? What's the best team for the next match? And can, but for sure, one thing you could say about someone was he had an enormous enthusiasm for the game. I mean, not just the matches, but the training sessions. He was really always up for the training sessions and always wanted to do a bit more. Yes, he had a huge impact on my life. Uh, I think uh, it is very safe to say if I didn't get him as a coach when I did, trust me, I wouldn't have turned up the player that I have. With him, I learned what not to do. You know, and it's very, very important when you're young and you think you're flamboyant and you want to try this, that and everything. He taught me, he, he let me do what I wanted to do, but he only corrected things that I shouldn't do. And that was such a big teaching. Now when I look back, it was massive. So if it wasn't for him at the time that he came to my life as a coach, I wouldn't have probably turned up the way I've turned up. I think Bob, Bob has something in his mind. He's brought in two or three changes in the team. Now oh, this is Climax Lawrence. He's uh, put this one through for Chetri. He finds the first goal. Bosa Palhaus got a touch onto it. But it was so sweetly placed by young Sunil Chetri. But there was absolutely nothing he could do about it in the end. I think for the entire team, it was an eye-opening. Uh, and I can honestly say that whatever I played, uh, I played under Bob Outland towards the end of my career. And that was my best football years in, in terms for the national team. It is by Chumbutia and it is two goals to nil that India lead by. When I was 21 and Bai Chumbai was Bai Chumbai then, and he and Randy Bai were their penalty takers. Either Bai Chumbai or Randy Bai. Obviously, it was important for uh, you know somebody else as well to start coming and delivering because Rene D, uh, most of the time was not always uh, you know playing because of his injury and things like that. So it was important that uh, you know Sunil takes it as well. I think there was a particular match where Rene D was not playing and I was playing. Bajung is in there. He just shot it over. Bajung always said, "Rene D, you penalty take it." But with Sunil, after that, you know, he saw that two or three tournaments Rene D has taken, so he saw that he has taken. You know, one of the reasons why also something that I've not spoken much, I've done well in my life is because everyone around me, most of them wanted me to do well. And it's a very, very amazing place to be in. From a near jam-packed Ambedkar Stadium in New Delhi, it's the clash for the summit. Hosts India taking on defending champions Tajikistan, the grand finale of the AFC Challenge Cup here in India. Will India's football dream come true again at the Ambedkar Stadium? Can they beat Tajikistan and win the AFC Challenge Cup for the first time? For any footballer in India, I think their aim is to play for World Cup first and then second is Asia Cup. Because Asia Cup, you get the best of players from Asia coming and competing in Asia Cup. After 24 years, we were qualifying for the Asia Cup. And that was very, very important for football in India, uh, India to grow. Second bite of the cherry and this should be goal number one and yes it is. And Sunil Chetri has scored on his home stadium. The best goal of that match came from Baiju. But Sunil got a hat trick. But the cross comes in here, and that's a lovely goal on the turn. And that's Captain Marvellous Baichung Bhutia, his 40th goal for India. And he has scored in the final to put India 2 0 ahead. When I truly stood up and took notice of him was, I think, in that uh, AFC Challenge Cup final uh, against Tajikistan when he scored that hat trick. 
And here's a front shot and it's into the net. And yes, it is the Delhi's hero, Sunil Chetri. This is not just that Delhi boy that people keep talking about fondly. This is a guy who truly can become the next big thing in Indian football. And I think that first sign for me came that day uh, or that night, should I say. Uh, and obviously, he's gone on to do bigger, better things since then. Up steps young Sunil Chetri on his home ground in front of his home fans. And he comes up with a beautiful hard work hat trick. He's having a golden run. Sunil Chetri is India's man at the moment. It still remains the only hat trick by an Indian in a final. It took us to the Asian Cup in 2011. Ladies and gentlemen, they've got the medals. It's time for them to receive the coveted AFC Challenge Cup 2008. Before that, I had never ventured out for trials. Forget in foreign nation, but even in our country. Chris Coleman was the gaffer, head coach. So the first day, the first day we had shooting drills. And there were 30 boys there, and I came second. I thought, I made it. I'm going to sign Coventry. It's a big thing, because it was a finishing training, and I did really well. He called me to his office. This is what he said. He said, uh, your shooting finishing is decent, but your basic tactical knowledge of the game and the pace is not there at all. So all that tough guy image, remember? It all went out of the window, because I was thinking, what is, what is this happening? And I was 24, 25 then, and I was missing home so much. From being Sunil Chetri in my own nation, to come to a championship side, Coventry, and to have no clue what was happening was such a wake-up call for me. When I came back, that little bit of change, that's how you get it. Because you ventured out, and just a small mannerism, what they performed inside and off the pitch, is what I brought back with me. So that experience helped me in my further experiences when I went abroad. The English FA, they denied my work visa because uh, the rule states then. What was she then thinking of? That you have to play more than 75% of your national team matches, which I did. And the B rule was your country has to be 70 or above in world rankings, which we weren't. We were some 120 at that time. So we appealed. And out of the six judges, Majority had to say yes. Three said yes, three said no. The worst part is I got the news that my work visa has been denied and the contract has gone one day before the Nirukov final in Delhi. And in Delhi, we were inside the hotel and we were not allowed to go out because Delhi is my home. I had my car there. I don't know what happened. I had no one to talk to. I took my car and I went for a drive, which wasn't allowed. If Bob is listening right now, you must be. I did uh, also spend some tears of my eyes. The only silver lining was I knew there was nothing else I could do. You know what I mean? It was in my hand. So I said, fair enough. I first had to give trials at Phoenix, which is right at the corner of the American and Mexican border. 
I was there for seven days. I gave a trial. I came back to India. They offered me a contract. I signed. I went to Kansas. But what happened was I was on the bench and I was going really negative in terms of how I was training, how, what I was thinking of my chances. You know, there are two ways to think about when you're not doing well. One, कि सबकी गलती है इसलिए मैं नहीं खेल रहा हूँ या मैं काम में ठीक नहीं कर रहा हूँ एक दूसरा है कि मेरी गलती है बॉस एंड लेट्स सी हाउ आई वॉन्ट टू चेंज माई सेल इम्प्रूव माई सेल आई चूज द फर्स्ट वन एंड दैट इज द रीजन वाई आई कुंट डू एज वेल आई शुड हैव डन इन कैंसिस बिकॉज आई कुड रियली डू वेल देर द फर्स्ट वन मंथ आई स्टूड रिमेम्बर आई प्लेट सम फोर और फाइव फ्रेंडलीज आई स्कोर अ हैट्रिक आई स्कोर सम इलेवन गोल्स and one of the famous one was against man united the summer friendly that's the trip that i have the most regrets about because i could have done so much well Bob Houghton was still our coach then. I was kind of expecting it because we were six, seven contenders of all the same batch, but I hadn't had the full conviction. And he announced it, and it was sweet. Asking myself, all right, now you're not a Sunil Chetri, the backbencher in the bus, a player. But you know the captain of the country. It's just the weight of the armband. I don't want to lie. Ah, it was cool. I was chill. It was there. But it just weighs on you. And story and story, you learn how to do the most you can do to be worthy to wear the armband. Leadership just came very naturally to him because he watched Bai Chung do that uh, towards the end of his career. And literally, as the torch was being passed on to Sunil. It's not. Any country you're captaining, you're, you're captaining India, which is 1.4 billion people, and it's what a feeling it is. You know, one good thing that I learned after being the captain is it is not important when to speak. It is very important to understand when not to speak, because when you do speak, it has to have the impact. We were in cloud nine. It was it was a big moment for us. Arjun Award was something uh, we didn't expect, honestly. Before I went to the Rashtrapati Bhavan, I did not understand. the magnitude of the award i was studying in scotland and i remember he said do you want to come and for me i was like i I've, i've just come to delhi to india i just can't keep coming but in my head i was like man this is big i want to be there wahan pe mere khayal se char char jane ki wo thi ijazat thi so there was uh, i think kuch tussles bhi hue karte the main jaunga ye jaungi wo i think my mom changed four sarees before zero downing and and she somebody was very chilled out तो फाइनली वी चूज दो फोर एंड देन फोर में से दो तो हम थे ही दो में तो लेके हम राष्ट्रपति भवन पहुंचे वन सेवन टू द राष्ट्रपति भवन एंड आई वाज लाइक वाओ दिस इज बिग तीन बार मुझे पूछा आप खुश हो मोम आप खुश हो मोम ना मैं मैं क्या बोलूं तेरे को अभी यहां से बड़ी चीज क्या होती है हमें तो ये तो खुशी तो बहुत थी I kept looking at my mom and dad, and my dad and mom—they generally are very solid people, but they didn't know how to behave, what to say, what to do, and they were just like kids inside the Rashtrapati Bhavan. Uh, for months and months, my mom kept telling her friends. Her friends were bored. Why don't you say it? Why? Twice you said it. Understand? We got your children. We got your children. We got your children. Yeah, but it was nice. It was. It was really, really nice. More so because to to see your parents like that was was really satisfying.
challenge you, I challenge him, I challenge everyone, I am the king, I challenge statuses, I challenge me, step to my game, you got no time to see. First of all, it takes a lot to chuck everything and go and try yourself, you know, start anew uh, in, in, a, in a developed football country. Sporting Club Portugal is one of the best teams in the world. You know, we, I come from a country which is 165 in the world. And to come here to a club which is as big as Sporting Club Portugal is a step for me. I'm really honored. I'm looking forward to it. Do you think you can play in the A-team of Sporting? Well, that's the, that's the challenge. You know, right now I'm coming with a free mind. I don't know how it's going to be. I don't know how tough it's going to be. I know it's going to be very tough as one of the best clubs in the world. So my thing is to go in the training and give them 100% and rest. I mean, the coach has to decide. What can you promise uh, to the fans? Yeah, one thing that I can promise is uh, I'm going to give my 200%. This is huge for me. I don't know if you can uh, relate to it, but from, coming from my country, it's a huge opportunity for me. I just want to give everything that I have. I don't know how much can I achieve. I don't know how much can I help the club. But one thing that I know, I, w- I would not leave anything inside me. I'll give 100% to the club. You, you came from the club to uh, Cristiano Ronaldo. Do you know him? Yes, Cristiano Ronaldo, Figo, Nani, all of them. All the big stars from Sporting Club Portugal. I just hope that I can also be a part of it. Thank you so much, Gay. I challenge you, I challenge him, I challenge everyone, I am the king. I challenge statuses, I challenge me. Step to my game, you got no time to sleep. I'm running the wind, I'm running the snow. I'll work them all, best expect me to blow. Play Europa Cup or Champions League sometimes. It's a huge European club. Some of the big names in the world football have come from there. I'm just giving a perspective. So for me to go from here to there and to train with them, I couldn't understand the pace. And that's where the coach said that you have to go to the B team to work harder. To my bad luck, the B team was equally, if not better than the A team. There were all youngsters there, but then I really enjoyed it. And I was like, it's all right. I know what the reality is. Let's fight. And then I started building up. Then I started enjoying training. Then I really improved as a player because I was training with the best players and also as a human being because I was living alone and I had probably a broader picture in front of me and I was thinking more more maturely and sanely and that has really helped me as to the kind of player I've become now and also equally important as a kind of human being I've become. It is beyond description. It was. And the learning that I got from that after after a lot of days that passed was that's how life is he was playing with the uh, boys uh, i think 17 18 19 years boys and they were very skillful they were very fast so unke sath ek indian wo bhi 27 28 years ka jo hai na wo compete kar raha tha no matter who you are you will not get 7 days good days 35 days a year not possible no matter who you are you will have those rainy days. You will feel bogged down. You will be disappointed. You will cry. It's normal. It happens to everyone. Every one of us. Because imagine if I only was like this. Oh, you're the best. You're this, you're this, you're that, you're that. I wouldn't have been who I am today. Because my career and life has gone like this, it teaches you. Both the places, I didn't start even a single game. I don't know if many people know this. I didn't start a single game. I was a substitute. But in sporting, I was at least happier because I was giving my best, I was positive, and I knew a better play in my position was playing. So I was all right with it. He thought, I, though I was uh, very much uh, uh, like a king in uh, Indian football, I'm not here, I have to start from the scratch uh, in uh, Portugal. Such a good facility, such a beautiful place. I think Chetri's uh, underwhelming stint. I keep calling it that because I hate to call it a failure because he's pro- possibly learned the most from those uh, stints by not just reforming himself as a footballer, not just understanding that, listen, I'm not, uh, you know, the greatest gift to mankind since sliced bread. I have to, I have to work uh, harder every single day. I have to be relentless. I have to have that bulletproof mentality that people spoke about uh, when they talk, talked about Baichung Bhutia back in the day. And I've got to understand that rising from each fall is more important than just rising. There has been a drastic change ever since he's come back from sporting. 
the Churchill brothers, uh, all the uh, owners, they were chasing Sunil. When JSW decided to invest into Indian football by bidding for the team uh, in the I League, the owners wanted to have the best players in the country. He realized that with his ability of never giving up, of always chasing lost causes, he realized that he can put together a package that has never been seen before in Indian football.